Uh, my name's Silke Novak. I am the construction lecturer for the University of Derby here at Cheshire College, South and West. Okay. Um, I thought in the absence of having an official induction where we take you into site and we, we, you know, we have a bit of a teams meeting where all the years get together and all the degree qualifications get together, all you HE students, um, we are not able to do that. So I thought I'd do a little video just to help. Okay, it's part of your induction this week. Um, it's a construction management degree, just in case you're on the wrong video. Um, but I want to first of all congratulate you for how far you've got so far. Um, whatever you've been up to, whether you've come from level three, whether you're in work, um, well done for getting this far and making a decision uh, to do this qualification. However, now the hard work really begins um, because you are on day release, you are in for one day a week and it's a full-time qualification so you are expected to do quite a lot of work <laughs> um, but so far every single student we've had has thoroughly enjoyed it so please do not panic we are on day release but that's more contact time you can manage your time the rest of the week however you feel if you need more support get more support if you don't then that's absolutely fine too um but yeah it is going to be tough but i'm pretty sure you'll enjoy it pretty much guarantee it so um let's bring it as they say um first i'm going to talk about your course handbook the team college requirements course delivery course units course timetable and reflection so i'm going to go over this really quickly so please um during week one, come and bring questions or anything that didn't make sense. Uh, just let us know. Okay, that'd be fabulous. Right. So first up, course team, uh, Stuart Williams and myself, we are the main body of your lecturing team. Um, Stuart is our course leader. We are followed with Lucy and Gary, who are specialists in business and law. So they are there to help you um, with those elements of the qualification in year two okay so moving on to college requirements we have our college policies um here is a picture of one of them now this is just expectations for students during their time in college um the tutor our course tutor is myself and Stuart williams is of course the course leader um and we are expecting your attendance to be 98% minimum. So you're gonna have the odd day where maybe you're not in due to unforeseen circumstances. Um, however, bear in mind, if you're not in for that one day a week, you may miss out on quite a lot because you're only in one day a week. So that's like a whole week's worth of learning. Um, so please bear that in mind and try to keep yourself healthy. Try to think, right, one day a week, let's get at this. Um, again, we've not had any complaints from if you speak to our year twos when you get in, um, that would be lovely. We'll try and sort of arrange something, um, one of our reps maybe to come through, speak to you, um, to put your minds at ease because it is, it's a good, it's a good course. Um, but yeah, attendance, we have requirements. Okay. And obviously just be safe in the classroom. All of this stuff is just common sense. Be safe for yourself and everyone else around you. That's kind of all we're asking from students in, um, in terms of being in the classroom. Okay. Course delivery timetables are, uh, you get given those during your first day. It's on a Wednesday. I'm going to give you an overview of your timetables. You will be told what time to come in and the room, um, via email. Okay. So you get one room for yourselves, basically, which is quite good for the whole day. Uh, there's five modules per year. Uh, we'll give you the course specification. So that will be emailed to you as well as this presentation. Okay, there are two years of the foundation degree and then one BSc top up here. Okay, you need to enroll separately for the BSc, but that equates to your three year um, degree qualification. Okay, so it all falls in alignment with the full time degree qualification run at the University of Derby. Okay. And we have two semesters exactly like the University of Derby do. The only difference is we do run our college term times. So have a look at the college term dates to know what Wednesday you're supposed to be in. Okay. 
Brilliant. Um, so onwards, course units. Here is a list of units in year one and year two. Okay, so you've got a little bit of information there. Um, credits 20 each. The codes you don't need to worry about. Um, yeah, so we, we deliver these modules as follows. Okay, timetables. We have semester one between 9.30 and 4.30. Semester two, again, 9.30 till 4.30. That's contact time. Normally, we would have normally, normally, whichever one's right, um, we would normally have um, tutor meetings in our hub. So you would be, you'd be at the resource centre. So this is your opportunity to seek guidance when it comes to your assignment writing and all these sort of skills that you might not have or you might need assistance with. However, we are making them available online in the absence of having too many people in the building at once. Um, you are free to use the resource library, but there is distancing in place. So please bear that in mind. That is why we have our online tutor meetings. So we can set those just before you leave or during the break, and then we can make sure we're available to support you wherever you need it. Okay, uh, that's year two, just in case you're interested. Um, that would be year two timetables so it follows exactly the same okay um, you have three subjects in semester one okay and then you have three some three subjects in semester two but your work-based learning does go in so if you look back at the last slide sorry I forgot to say work-based learning does go into semester two the work-based learning is a year-long um, project okay so that is done in your own time but we do have online resource for that as well to be able to discuss any requirements all right um, okay so finally we're looking at reflection and actions so we do look for course representatives we do want course reps in our classes yay um, to make sure that uh, if there's anything that all the students are sort of thinking about or even one or two have issues with that rep can then bring it forward and make sure it's all done it's all recorded we have meetings where we record everything and then if we can action it and we can help then of course we will so we need a course rep though somebody that is going to be your voice for your group okay so you can volunteer or you can vote in class um, we are also looking for there's one meeting per semester at the moment it will be via teams so it will be online um, so you don't need to be coming in to the college for your meeting um, so there will be one rep meeting per semester okay the course events uh, we every year we go to the NEC construction week unfortunately due to COVID it's not running this year. So what we've done is we will look at the online version. So this is all the experts in the field all coming together. There's an online NEC construction week. So uh, we will try to see, get involved with that as much as possible. And on top of that, I'd love you to consider work-based learning events. So Rick's football team tournaments was one year. There might be some things online that I haven't even thought of yet but we can give you some of the examples and we will support you through this we'd love to be able to do things together as a team so if there are any ideas you bring them to us and we will look at them for you that would be amazing okay right other than that uh, we just need to have a bit of an induction interview which we'll have during your first day um, just need 10 minutes of your time we're looking at goals responsibilities and restrictions that you have for your learning journey it's more to do with us making sure that we're giving you what you need out of the sessions i could talk forever about um, a type of structure but if you're not dealing with it directly what is the point so by me knowing what you're interested in what you do as a job um, myself and Stuart can both make sure that your um, your degree qualification actually is reflective of what you want to do or what you're already doing in the industry because um, we have the the well we have the ability to do that because we're, we're quite good um, so yeah we want to know all these things off you so we can make Make sure your degree qualification is actually, you know, beneficial to you. Okay, um, so that's all, folks. Um, if you have any questions, we're going to send you this out with an email. So please, please, um, batter out your questions to us, and we will help you as much as we can. Otherwise, bring them to class on the first day. 
and we'll ask them then we'll answer anything you have um and then obviously we're here to support you we are here to deliver information but also here to make sure that this course is what you need and it's comfortable for you so please uh, stay safe in the meantime and i really look forward to meeting you on your first day in class thank you take care bye